Today let's see installing other free node modules. Yesterday's video we saw how to write local modules. In day before yesterday we have seen writing and using some of the built-in node modules. Today we shall see how to install, search, install and make use of other external modules which are free. So if we type npm space search in the command prompt we will get all the module names and its uses like zz parser used for parsing xml or feed data we also have many other packages or frameworks here we have youtube downloader i also had not seen this youtube iphone js youtube downloader package and we also have coffee script method combinations and many many other external free packages if you want to install any free packages you have you could type npm space search in the command prompt to see all the list of free node free external node modules to search for particular package details you could type npm search space the module name inside that you could see all the facilities available with that package name and its description just go through these details you will you will find some of some interesting things we could do using some simple node applications all these are already written so we we just make use of these things and build amazing applications i'm on windows if you are on any other os other than windows you could even type in npm space search pipe grep grep space the module name in windows it doesn't work the other way of searching and using these external modules are go to search.npmjs.org where they have listed all the free packages available in search just go to uh, type any of your module names you are searching for and hit enter you'll get all the list of available modules you could click on some of these and look at other details and some download links etc so how do we install it first of all let me install let me create a directory first so that everything will be separated to avoid confusion i'll create a directory called app inside this folder i'll install some of the external modules npm init the init command in npm allows us to identify our project and list out any node modules it requires so name it takes something version let it be description all these are optional things entry point git repository keywords author i'll give my name licensing bst okay the package.json file has been created now now open this file inside a plain editor i'll open notepad or else i'll just drag and drop it inside my editor here i'll edit this file out i'll write dependencies and list out some of the modules or the frameworks 
which I need for my projects. The list of modules I write here will be detected when I type when I try to install it using command prompt. So this is the version. First one express is the module name or the framework name colon I'm writing the version name. Here I'll write another framework, another support module. I could write start to install the latest version or else I could specify the particular version I want to install for my project. My project depends on these external modules which I want to install. Save this. Go to command prompt now. I'll write now I'll write type in the command npm which means node package manager space install now it looks into the package.json file and by looking into dependencies it will start installing those modules node modules so it successfully installed and it's showing the directory structure now to see if it's working i'll just try to require that is include the express module here and i'll just try to run it if it runs without any error that means that package is present node space app dot js so there are no errors that means we have successfully installed these packages so minus iphone g means we could install these packages globally the difference is that if you install it globally you could even access it through command prompt if you install it locally only your application could access it if you start getting any errors you could append this command with sudo keyword now let's see how we could update these packages if you go to npmjs.org and look for express you could see the latest versions are different from the one we just installed so what we could do to install to update these packages without breaking our application i don't think we could say without breaking the application but without much hassle we could use this npm space update command to update all these packages present inside our package dot json file so all these things present inside express framework gets updated not only express whatever we wrote inside dependencies of package.json file all these things got updated now we could open this json file of each framework and look for the updated updated versions so now how could you remove any of the not so used packages not used packages just go to package.json once again inside the dependencies remove the one you are no more using save it go to prom command prompt and then type this command npm prone p r u n e this would remove that package let's see once more open your package.json file 
in the root that is inside the app folder now i'll remove j a d z z framework save the file now run this again that is npn space p r u n e that jad framework is deleted that's how you update and remove the modules external modules you have installed in our next video we will see how to use these external packages inside our application so please visit the link present below this video in the description section also please share this video with your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter etc like this video on youtube and please be subscribed to our blog technotip.com and to our youtube channel next up in our video tutorial we will see how to make use of these external packages and their facilities methods and properties of these frameworks to build our own applications